<sighs> lots of shoes, lots of shoes. Hello and welcome to Running Revolution. My name's Nathan and in this video we're going to be talking about my running shoe rotation for the upcoming fall cross country season. Okay, if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps that support help this channel grow. If you have not been to this channel before, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Go check my channel out, Running Revolution. Look at all my videos. I'm a college student at Brigham Young University, and I'm trying to walk on to the BYU cross country and track team. And this is my kind of vlog journey of doing that. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified when I come out with a new video and join me on this journey towards running on the BYU cross country team. Okay, so we're going to start out. I've got four shoes here. These are going to be the four shoes that I'm going to be using throughout this fall semester, and I'm going to be telling you what I'm using them for and what I love about them. So please stick around. Uh, this whole video is going to be absolutely amazing, and you're going to want to see the whole thing, and please stick around for a little surprise at the end, okay? You're going to want to see it. The first shoe we're going to be looking at today, this is the shoe I'm going to be doing most of my daily training and most of my easy miles, my easy runs in, and it is going to be, drum roll, the New Balance Rebel version 3. I just got this about two weeks ago, and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, hopefully a review coming out in the future. I know I'm really late to getting this shoe. The version 4 is almost out. And, but I finally got my hands on it, and I love the New York colorway. This is what I'm going to be doing most of my daily training in. Um, I will not be doing long runs in this shoe. I'll show you the shoe later, what I'm going to be doing long runs in. But this fuel cell midsole is very squishy, very responsive. It's just a comfortable shoe to wear. The tongue is a little bit thin for my liking. I just put a cotton pad on top of my foot, and I've got no rubbing, no blisters, and it's perfectly fine. Good durability on the bottom here. You can see it's going to last a long time. I'm expecting at least 300, 400 miles out of this thing. It's gotta last that long. <laughs> and I found it really cheap for $89 on Amazon. So this was a steal of a deal. And I'm gonna really love this for my daily training and my easy runs. Next shoe I'm gonna talk about is my long run shoe. Now, originally when I got this shoe, I'm not gonna tell you about it yet. Okay, come on, you gotta stick around. You gotta stick around, keep watching the video. Come on, I'm trying to create some suspense here. Come on, go along with it. Okay, so this shoe, was gonna be kind of like my half marathon racing shoe, my up tempo shoe, but it just, it didn't work out that well. It does have a carbon fiber plate, and come on, keep trying to guess the shoe here, keep trying to guess the shoe here. Come on, comment down below what you think the shoe is right now, okay? It's got a carbon fiber plate, but it doesn't have super good durability, and so that's kind of the downfalls. It's like, I'm using it for long runs, but it does wear down quickly, but it's got a insanely breathable upper, and the midsole is just cushiony soft. Have you guessed what it is yet? Yep, hopefully you got it. The New Balance SC Elite version 3. And I know I'm also late to the game. Again, the version 4 comes out. What? I've, I don't know. I've seen unreleased, or I've seen leaked photos of the version 4. But this, it's got the same midsole right here as the Rebel version 3, that fuel cell. But 40 millimeters of it in the heel, 36 in the forefoot, a 4 millimeter drop. Just, it's just squishy. I don't know if you can see that there but it's also you've got that carbon fiber plate in the bottom here which i have scratched up quite a bit but you know it is lasting a long time the longest run i've run this so far has been 11 miles i love it for the long runs it's light it's it's not quite responsive and poppy but it's just kind of a squishy softness that just cushion your knees and you don't feel tired afterwards like you seriously this is a good recovery shoe because of the carbon fiber plate i'm not going to be using it on any easy runs or daily training just because I want to give my feet time to rest and recover, especially my ankles, and to help my hip mobility. So I'm not going to be doing most of my runs in the carbon fiber plated shoes, but it is nice for a little extra pop on those long runs, especially again near those 8 and 10 mile long runs. Hopefully getting up to like to 12 miles when your legs are getting a little bit tired and sluggish. So this is my pick for my long run shoe, the New Balance SC Elite version 3. Now moving on to my up-tempo fast day shoes. Let's just go with this one first, okay? The Vaporfly Next Percent 2. This is an amazing shoe. I have got so many miles on it. This pair probably has at least 200 on it, so I might have to retire it soon, but I'm def I'm gonna take it to at least 100, 400. It's holding up well. You can see the bottom. It's got some wear, but this Nike's, um, whatever this rubber is, is very durable, and I have not gotten my hands on the Vaporfly Next Percent 3, but they seem to have gotten rid of this, so I'm wondering about the durability of that outsole, but this is holding up really well. The Zoom X is soft, responsive, super poppy, but you know, it's 
it's holding up. Like you see, just cosmetics is really all that's been altered. The performance of the shoe after 200 miles, nothing has changed. It's still the awesome, the iconic Vaporfly from Nike. It's got a very breathable upper, and one thing I do love about the shoe that none other shoe except the one that I have right here that you'll see in a couple seconds has is the way Nike with their fast shoes does the, the lacings down the side of the shoe, as you can see. And so for me, who has, I get lace bite and problems with putting too much pressure on the top of my foot and the laces giving me rubbing and blisters on the top of my foot, this helps to alleviate that because it's going down the side of the shoe, not quite on the top. And so I love, if I could do all my miles in the shoe, this would be awesome. But the carbon fiber plate is great on race day, but you know, it kind of is a little, little firm for those easy runs and for those easy and recovery ones, you want a shoe that you can control. For one thing, this shoe controls you, okay, which is good because when you're going fast, it helps you improve your form, it helps you improve your mobility, it helps you improve your efficiency of your stride. But for easy runs, you want a shoe like this right here. Like, take a look at this. Squish in half, easy. You control this shoe, the shoe does not control you for your easy runs. But for fast days, get that carbon fiber plated shoe. I, I don't know, there's science, some people say it does work, some people say it doesn't. I love them, okay? I love them. That's my opinion. That's my take. So this shoe is going to be for the road. So if I'm doing a tempo on the road, if I'm doing intervals, threshold work, any workout that I am on the road or sidewalk or maybe even trails, I've like some light trails, not rocky trails, but some light trails, this holds up really well. This is, this is my fast day shoe, okay? Now for the final one, thank you so much for sticking around. This is the surprise. I don't know if it's too much of a surprise, but... Take a look at this beautiful colorway of the Nike Street Fly. Beautiful popping pink. I've got the Nike Dragonfly in this same pink colorway. Nike, good job, okay? This is beautiful. These colorways, okay, I like when a shoe looks good. Of course, yes, it's about the performance. It doesn't matter what the shoe looks like. You could get a solid black one if it was cheaper. Yes, you'd save money. But turquoise, royal blue, sea green, okay? You get my color palette. You're learning what kind of colors I like and what shoes I like. But this, beautiful. If I'm going to be running in a fast shoe, I want to feel cool, and I definitely do in this shoe. This shoe currently only has <laughs> eight miles in it. And so this shoe I just picked up, I have been doing all my cross-country workouts that are on grass or the track or even cross-country races in the Takumi Sen 8 from Adidas. But when the Takumi Sen 9 came out, they only came out with like one colorway and it's still $180 and it hasn't been discounted yet. And I can't find any Takumi Sen 8s anywhere. Like there's ones on eBay, but they're super expensive. And so I guess I had to go, I had to go switch brands. Sorry, Adidas, I love your shoes, but if I can't find them and they're not the prices that I'm willing to pay, I'm not gonna get them, okay? So I'm switching over to Nike. Really love this shoe. And they basically just translate this shoe into this shoe and made it amazing. They just dropped the stack down. There is no carbon fiber plate in the shoe. There is a PB something. There's a shank in the middle that's supposed to hold it together. You can feel it a little bit, you know, it snaps back some poppiness. They got the same rubber outsole that they do on the Vaporfly. So I'm really, really loving that. I think this is gonna be really durable. This shoe is going to be my cross country racing shoe. So if you didn't know, I'm on the Brigham Young University farm team or running club. So basically, I'm not good enough to run on the track team or cross country team, but they do have a running club that you can train on that until you get your times up and then try to walk onto the team. So that is my goal. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. And so I'm not going to be doing too many races on actual full grass. So I probably won't get the opportunity to wear cross country spikes. So this is going to be my race day shoe. Very light. Um, I don't really need a responsive shoe because I'm not going to be on too much pavement. I just need something that barely feels like it's like just an extension of my foot and to protect me from the rocks and gravel, which would be painful if I were to race cross country barefoot. So hence this shoe. I'm also gonna be using it on all my grass workouts. And if we do any track intervals, you know, like shorter than mile repeats, it's gonna be this shoe. Anything longer is gonna be in this, but anything shorter is gonna be in the Nike Streak Fly. And please comment down below if you'd like to see a review of the shoe. I know there's tons of them out there, but Maybe if you like my review style, um, if you've seen the review of this one, you liked how I reviewed it, maybe comment down below and I'll do a review on this. Maybe when I hit 25, 30 miles, or maybe a first impressions review. We'll see what it is in the future, but this is going to be a good shoe and I'm excited to see 
all the fun races that I do in it and the times that I run. Oh, here is my running shoe rotation. Thank you so much for sticking around for the video. Please comment down below what your favorite running shoe rotation is and I will do my best to respond to you because I don't have that many subscribers right now. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to start a running revolution, you know, revolutionize your running, take it to the next level. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. Comment down below any video ideas you have for me. I would love to make those videos. I'm just a college student here and you know when I have some free time I really love video editing and photography and this is a hobby that I love and I would love to grow it into possibly a hobby that could pay for itself you know so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video if you are still watching give yourself a big thumbs up you're awesome because according to my YouTube statistics you are one of 12% of people so give yourself a pat on the back please consider hitting that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications once again I'm Nathan Richardson this is Running Revolution run safe and have fun